What's up class? This is a uh, brief video to walk you guys through how you can add your own artwork and text to the greeting card templates. Now there's two different templates which are Adobe Illustrator files that you'll download from the assignment. One is for side fold greeting cards, the other is for top fold greeting cards. And all of these blue lines here are there to help guide you to make sure that the uh, things that you add to the template are centered um, so that everything will line up when you print it out double-sided. Uh, what you want to notice is that in the layers window each one has some locked windows uh, in the layer. You don't need to unlock those. Basically what you need to do is add your own art to this red tinted layer and then what you're going to do is hit the eyeball icon to turn off the visibility for the example art and text. So the goal for this project is for you to add your own artwork, um, which you can drag and drop in or go to file place to bring in. And then you'll put that on the outside, okay, on the front. And then the inside, you'll leave your own typed message. Now, um, you can use the type tool, any font that you like, and you can leave any greeting you like. Just make sure that uh, when you go to print, you follow the instructions. So. The instructions on the assignment um, show you a good overview of the different settings you need to click, but there's a little reminder in each of the templates. On the side view, uh, I'm sorry, the side fold template, you need to tell it to print double-sided with flip over. And in the top fold greeting card, you need to have it on print double-sided with flip up. So what does that mean? Well, when you hit control P to open up your print dialog window, the thing you're going to have to do is go into the setup. So you're going to choose the high quality color printer from the drop down. You're going to go into the setup and you're going to go into the preferences. Okay. So when you go into preferences, these are the settings you need. You want your paper source to be tray three. You want it to be print on both sides instead of no. For this one, you want it to be in flip up. Okay. And then other than that, all you have to do is leave the rest at defaults and click OK. Then you hit print and then you hit print and it will print out a double sided copy. When you are printing the side fold card, you want to make sure you're in flip over mode. So we'll hit control P again. Look at the printer. Yep, the high quality color printer. That's what we want. You can see it's a two page document. All right, so that looks right. We just have to make sure that our preferences are in fact set to tray source, uh, tray three as the paper source. And we want it to be on, yes, flip over for this one. Okay, so once that's set, you can hit the print button here and it will print out one copy. If you want more than one copy of your card template, you can put a higher number than one in here. Uh, but that's how we do it, folks. I'm gonna hit the done button for now. Uh, if you need help with any of the templates going forward, make sure you talk to me. It's always a good idea to get a double check from the teacher before you print it out um, because we're using cardstock. We definitely don't want our um, prints to come out incorrect. Otherwise, if that happens times 150 digital art students, we'll end up wasting a whole heck of a lot of paper. So keep that in mind. Um, make a card for somebody you care about. Uh, it could be a holiday card, could be a birthday card, or just a congratulations or thank you card. Uh, and I look forward to seeing your work.